everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new my name is Tasha so as you guys know I absolutely love fashion and clothes and styling and making new outfits and I've been getting some requests from you guys to go back to doing more fashion and styling content on my channel so I figured that is what I would do today if you guys do like my style and want to see the outfits that I'm wearing, definitely go check out my Instagram. It's just at Tasha. I'm always posting outfit photos and also updating my stories with just whatever I'm doing. So if you guys are interested, once again, that is just at Tasha. So I know a lot of people, if you aren't super, super into fashion, it can be kind of hard to know where to start and know what pieces you should have to be able to pair with other pieces in your wardrobe. Because ideally, when you have a few staple items, you can wear them with most things in your wardrobe. So I put together my top 15 items that I think everyone should have in their closet in 2020. Not necessarily for 2020 because I know a lot of people aren't leaving their homes, but I think all these pieces I have picked out, you can pair with each other and definitely wear them for casual scenarios or going out on a date scenarios or just dressing cute scenarios. Yeah, so I'm gonna go through these 15 items, show you guys examples that I have in my wardrobe and also show you guys how I would style them. I will be linking everything that I show down below if I can and I will also link some alternatives because I know everyone has different tastes and different price points. Also, I know my roots look like shit. <laughs> I'm getting my hair done soon and that's all I can look at in the viewfinder, so I'm sorry if that's distracting. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing on my list is a plain black bodysuit. I think this is perfect because it can be dressed up, down, and you don't have to worry about your stomach showing because I know not everyone loves crop tops. This is just one example and this is one I really love. This is by the brand Girlfriend from Revolve. This is a nice casual material and I would recommend one like this because you could just pair it with jeans and wear it during the day or you could wear some booties with it. I'll show you some <laughs> later on and dress it up. But yeah, this one is just a nice casual material. It's a little bit of a high neck and it goes down into a bodysuit. It's basically my go-to if I don't know what to wear. So I think everyone needs to have one of these in their closet. Next up is probably kind of obvious, but it's just a pair of flattering jeans. I love jeans. I know some people are against jeans, but if you find a pair that you love and that are actually comfortable and you feel confident in, then I promise you, you will wear them all the time. These ones are also from Revolve. This is by the brand Girlfriend. I personally like jeans with rips because I think it makes things a little more casual, but I would say if you do like jeans with rips, definitely have a pair without rips as well if you want to wear them a little more professionally. I will link a bunch of great options down below, but I do love these. I tend to like a lighter wash, but it's totally up to you and up to your own preference. And these are the black bodysuit, oh, chef's kiss. So going off of a pair of jeans, I would also recommend having a good pair of jean shorts <laughs> for the same reason, they go with everything. And if it's hot outside and you don't wanna wear your jeans, you can opt for jean shorts. Jean shorts are some of the hardest things to shop for in my opinion. It can be really hard to find the right fit, but once you do, it's so worth it in my opinion. These ones are also by the brand Girlfriend. They're pretty much the same wash as the denim. You guys can probably tell I have a favorite wash. <laughs> if you don't love super short shorts, I know that longer Bermuda length shorts are on trend right now, so that's totally another option. My next staple is an upscale plain white tee. I feel like everyone always says, oh, you should have a plain white tee in your wardrobe, but I kind of feel like a lot of the times plain white tees can just look very cheap. So if you can find a plain white tee that has a little bit of an extra detail that makes it look a little bit more expensive, it can make an outfit look a lot more intentional. This one is also by the brand Girlfriend. You guys can tell I love Revolve. It looks like your average plain white tee, but as you can tell, the sleeves just have some extra detailing. It's kind of like a muscle tee vibe. It just kind of elevates the look and makes it seem like you put a lot more effort into your outfit. The next staple is a leather jacket. I feel like this will always be a staple. This is my personal favorite leather jacket. I do prefer to have leather jackets in real leather just because the quality is amazing and I know they will last me forever, but there are so many amazing faux leather options out there as well. I will link some of those down below. This one is by the brand Tibby and this is a cropped jacket. I personally love 
this cropped fit because I'm really short so sometimes I feel like if jackets are longer they swallow me a little bit. It has some interesting stuff on it. I wore it to dinner so I definitely need to clean this off but I would say finding a leather or faux leather jacket that you love and maybe invest a little bit in is totally worth it because they are timeless and you can wear them with almost anything. Going along on the jacket <laughs> trend, the next thing I would recommend is an oversized denim jacket. I have two here to show you. Both of these are vintage Levi's. Here's an example of a washed black one. And then this is my personal favorite, one of my favorite things that I have because this was my dad's jacket when he was in high school. So this one is very distressed as you can see, but this one is a lighter denim. I always find myself throwing those on if I don't know if I'm going to get cold or if I just want to bring a jacket along. So I think finding a good denim jacket is super important. Next up is some sort of oversized graphic tee, whether that's a band tee or just an image that you like. This one is from Urban Outfitters. I actually got this on Poshmark recently and it's dirty. I need to wash it. But this is a giant Van Halen shirt. I feel like everyone and their mother has this, but I will link it down below. This one is really big and I love how you could wear it with biker shorts or those denim shorts or the jeans and then you can throw on the denim jacket or the leather jacket. <laughs> you see how all this stuff is tying together? The next item I would recommend having is some sort of slip dress. I feel like these are classic and you can layer them with all of these things. I even think it's super cute to layer a graphic tee under or even over a slip dress. This one is just from Urban Outfitters. It's this plain little black silky dress but then I also have this really really beautiful olive green midi silky dress from Revolve and once again I think these are great to have for date nights or just going out or if you want to look a little bit more fancy but you can also dress them down with like the denim jacket or the graphic tee. So I think finding a slip dress that you love the color of and the fit of is a good staple to have. Next, everyone needs a cozy neutral cardigan. This is just as important as a denim jacket to me because it's the other thing that I will throw on if I don't know if I'm going to be cold or not. This is just a cream colored one from Free People. I love their cardigans. This one is very, very long as you will see when I try it on, but I love that. It just makes it extra cozy. Yeah, so I would recommend a cream, a black, or a gray. I actually do have a gray one to show you. This one is from Revolve. It's more a cropped fit, so if that's what you prefer, this one's really nice. Kind of similar to the cardigan, I would recommend having a big, chunky, neutral sweater. This one is also Free People. It has a turtleneck, so it's going to look kind of weird off, but it's so big and I love just wearing this with leggings and boots. It's comfy and cozy and perfect for the fall and winter time. I know flannels are not everyone's taste, but I love a big oversized cozy flannel. My favorite place to get them is just at the men's section in the thrift store. So this one is thrifted and you can literally wear this with the black bodysuit and jeans or you can wear this with the graphic tee. You could put the leather jacket or the denim jacket over this. I don't know, I love flannels and I've been seeing that this season, the shacket, which is like a combination of a flannel and a jacket is really on trend. I've been seeing it in a lot of stores, so that's another option, but I don't know. I just love the texture and coziness of a good flannel. Next up is of course the little black dress. It's on everyone's list for a reason. I have a few options to show you. First is just this little linen one. This is from Urban Outfitters. Very simple. I would probably wear this with the denim jacket or even the flannel. This one has a little bit more detail to it. This one is from Revolve, but it's still really cute and simple enough to go with a lot of different items. Also, that slip dress I showed you is a great way to kind of knock off two options in one. I have three accessories to round out the list. I didn't know if accessories really counted in this, but I have two pairs of shoes and one accessory. First of all is a good pair of black booties. I wear black booties so often. I wear them going out. I wear them during the day. I wear them to dinner. This pair is Revolve. I really like the shape of these ones and I think it's like a perfect heel height. I genuinely think everyone needs black booties. So this one is very important. 
My next and last shoe to make the list is just a pair of white sneakers. These are just Air Force ones, but I feel like white sneakers, like different brands and styles go in and out of style all the time. So whether it's Converse or Vans or Air Force ones, just a pair of white sneakers that you can dress up or down. My camera decided to randomly stop working, so I switched to a new one. So if things look different, that's why, I'm sorry. But the very last thing on my list is a pair of sunglasses that you can wear with pretty much anything. Right now my personal favorite is this pair by the brand My My My. I have them in black and in tortoise, but if these are not your cup of tea, I also really like these ones by the brand Rain? Raen? I should know how to pronounce it, but it's R-A-E-N. I always get questions about these ones, so these are some of my favorites, but I would say just have a pair that goes with most of your outfits and that's a really great staple to have. They don't need to be expensive or anything like that. So those were my 15 things that I would recommend having in your 2020 wardrobe. I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you can think of anything that I did not have on my list that you would recommend, definitely leave that below in the comment section. Please also let me know what other types of fashion videos you would like to see. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!